Hello, guys. Hey, how's Hello, it going? Teacher, good evening. Good evening. So, how was your weekend? It, it was okay. It was okay. Nice. What What do you do? Where did you go? Well, uh, yesterday, watching the the game, <laughs> it was a shame that we lost again. <laughs> We were starting winning, so you know the story. <laughs> yes. We, we yes. play as always, and we lost as usual. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. It happens. I feel you. I'm not really into soccer, but I really thought that, you know, we, that we were going to win. I really thought that this time around, you know, we were going to win. Yes. But that's that's pretty cool. Uh, Nuri, how are you, Nuri? How was your weekend? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Nice to see you. Nice to see you again, too. Um, it was chill out. It was chill? For me. Nice. Yeah. Did, you, did you go out? No. No, why not? No, I, I, I stay home. You stayed to home? To rest. Oh, yeah. I got it. Got it. All right. Well, who else went out? Jenny, did you go out? Hello, good evening. Good evening, Jenny. How are you? Good. Did you go out? No, I stay oh. home. You stayed home? Yeah, the weekend I celebrate, celebrated la, my son's birthday and my husband's birthday. Oh, nice, That's nice, it. nice. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Awesome, guys. Uh, Santos, how was your weekend, Santos? Hello, good evening. Um, well, it was a little busy. <laughs> I was working. Okay. All right. Well, I went to uh, to this Naui Beach house. Um, it was cool. I mean, it was okay. A lot of foreigners there, you know, a lot of tourism so it was it was cool it was cool in, in, in what beach teacher right uh that that's after it's on i think i mean i know the place is you know called uh now we beach house but but it's it's nice you know it's nice it has a nice little pool okay. overlooking the ocean you know um so i liked it yeah. i liked it you know, I had a, the, the edge swimming pool right there yeah yeah Endless, it's endless. No, not really endless, but, but yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's get started, okay? Okay. Because right. we got a lot of material to cover. So we're going to talk, guys, about uh, simple past versus uh, past progressive, okay? So what is the difference between simple past and past progressive, okay? So, guys, the difference is just like your, you know, your wife versus your ex, right? Your ex is in the present and your wife in the past, right? No, <laughs> it's the other way around, right? The ex is in the past and, the, and your wife in the present, right? All right, uh, so no guys, the difference guys, uh, we're gonna talk about the difference um, in what situations we use them for, you know? So, so that's what we're gonna see today, all right? So we'll have a, a small warm up, guys. I want you to watch the video. Uh, this is the video that's, uh, you know, on the platform, by the way, okay, so you're going to take a look at the video, and you're going to tell me, right, you're going to tell me a summary of the story, okay, so pay attention, guys, one thing I recommend you guys for not forgetting, you know, what you're supposed to talk about, okay, all right, do this, guys, okay, take notes, okay, take notes, all right, so I want you to take notes as you listen, okay, so, mientras escuchan, guys, necesito que estén escribiendo notas, got it? All right. So then after your notes, you know, grab keyboard keywords. Okay. Do you know what keywords are guys? Keywords. Palabras clave. Okay. You don't need to write down everything. You just need to take keywords. All right. Very good guys. So let's get started. Hey guys. You're not going to believe this. I just heard a story. Can you hear, by the way? Yes, teacher. All right. Yes. About this yes. campground. What do you mean? What about it? 
I was just at the bathhouse. I had taken a shower and was brushing my teeth when this woman came in with her daughter. She, she was telling her the story, so I listened in. What's so interesting about this old campground? It isn't scary, is it? Because scary stories freak me out. Don't be such a chicken, Molly. Come on, Ellen, tell us the story. Well, this all took place many years ago. Before it was turned into a campground, this land had been a farm. It was owned by a young couple named Theodore and Dolly McShane. Mr. McShane had inherited the land from a relative. So, what's so scary about that? I thought this was supposed to be a spooky story. I'm getting to that, just wait. The McShanes were wonderful people. Friendly, sociable, everybody loved them. And they really, really loved each other. Everybody could see it. When they were walking down the street together, they always held hands. When he was working in the fields, he always picked her wild flowers and brought them home to her in the evening. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Oh no, then something bad happened, right? Yes. One day, as Theodore was coming home from town, he saw smoke in the distance. It had been a very hot, dry summer, so fires were a real danger. And was there a fire at the farm? Yes. And as he was hurrying down the road, the smoke was getting thicker and thicker, blacker and blacker. All he could think about was his wife. <coughs> but by the time he got home, the house was completely in flames. He screamed Dolly's name over and over, but she didn't answer. She was in the house? She died in the fire? Yes. It was a terrible tragedy. What happened then? Well, the poor man went crazy. He refused to believe that Dolly had died. For months, he searched for her. He walked all day and night through the countryside and through the town, searching, searching. And in his hands, he always carried a bouquet of wild flowers for his poor, dead bride. So how did it turn out? What finally happened to him? That's the spooky part. It's a mystery. People saw him less and less. And then Theodore McShane just disappeared. No one ever saw him again. But the people who live here say he still walks the forest at night looking for his lost bride. Whoa! Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you ladies. I was making my rounds and wanted to see if everything is all right. Yes, a park ranger, of course. Yes, everything's fine. Ellen was telling us a spooky story when you came by. Campfire stories, huh? That's always fun. Well, okay then, I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for checking on us, and sorry about the screams. Oh, that's okay. I'm used to it. Hey, in the morning, you ladies should take a look down that path. There's a field full of wildflowers in there in bloom right now. Very pretty. Oh, that's good to know. We'll do that, thanks. Here's some for you to enjoy. In case you need anything, I'll be at the ranger station. Thanks again. Oh, what's your name? I'm Ted. Theodore, really. But my friends call me Ted. Ted McShane. You have a good night. So, what do you think about the cringy story? <laughs> you know what cringy is, guys? <laughs> All right, so hey, uh, so what happened? Okay, so real quick, guys, okay, real quick, just tell me, okay, uh, give me the plot of the story. What happened? All right, uh, let's start with actually, who wants to start, guys? I'd like to go first. I'll pick then, uh, Rafael May Mayen. Let's go. So, what happened? Thank you, teacher. There are these these friends in the in the camp campground. 
and they were telling a, a, a spooky story about a, a couple of um, a couple of uh, husband and wife, Theodore and Dolly, and he they 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 say that he used to work in the um, um, in the town, and then when he is returning to home, there was a fire. And okay. All right. Very good. Continue. I'm sorry. Okay. And then um, when he he was uh, approaching to the house, uh, there, there, there see a lot of fire and uh, uh, a lot of black black and thick smoke. And the only thing he he and the only thing he can the only uh, and he was thinking in, in in his wife Dolly, and she actually die in the in the fire and then he he refused to believe that she was dead and he always looking for her with a bouquet of wild flowers okay okay all right very good okay um there are some things which are incorrect here but thank you very much i will correct them together very good thank you rafael uh, who else, guys? Who, who else would like to tell me what happened? That was pretty good, Rafa, right? Nuri, let's go, Nuri. <laughs> okay. The farmer uh, got fired. Uh, okay, you said the farmer got fired. Like this? Okay. okay. What else? And, and his wife died. Okay. Die or died? Died, right? Died. Good. What else? What else? Yeah. And he used he used to walk he used to walk every night around looking his wife. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Leave it there. Leave it there okay. because of the time. Okay. Thank you very much, Nuri. Okay? okay. Another volunteer, guys. I need another one. Me. Go ahead. Thank you. Sorry. I, I, I just saw the, the, the last part, but when the girl stopped telling her girlfriend's story, the park ranger appeared. When the girl what? I'm sorry? When the girl finished the, the story. Yeah, when the girl finished the story? The park ranger appeared and okay. he scared her. Okay, and he scared them. Okay, pretty good. Thank you, Marcos. Thank you, right? I la okay, a last example, guys. Okay, the last participation. One more, one more. Just one more, guys. Anybody? Maria Quintanilla, let's go. I'm not sure that the uh, part ranger, his name is a top or. Okay, Ted. Uh huh. Ted, Ted right, sorry. Uh huh. What else? And he he give he uh huh he give she uh a flowers. Okay. What else? Gives. Okay. How uh, else? He gives to she to. Okay, he gives to she. Okay. Uh, flowers. Yeah. Um. Yes. Okay. Right. 
Pretty good. Thank you. Thank you very much, Maria. All right, guys. So real quick, guys. Okay. So notice, guys, that with uh, we we're using guys simple past and past progressive to talk about events that happened in the past, right? Now take a look at the first example. When he was approaching the house, right? Is this simple past or past progressive, guys? Past progressive. All right. Very good. Okay. Why do we say that this is past progressive? Because of ing, ing and also the verb be okay very good all right uh he was thinking in his wife okay he was thinking now there is a problem with a preposition here this should be about okay about his wife he was thinking about his wife now he was thinking about his wife we know that this is past progressive right why because we have the verb be and we have the ing form here he died in the fire. Okay, past progressive or simple past? <laughs> okay, simple past. He always looking for her. Now this is wrong. Why is this wrong, guys? Progressive. The structure is he. Okay, so the structure, guys, is you know, like this. He was. First of all, you need the verb be. He was always looking for okay. this, guys. Okay, looking for. This is a phrasal verb that goes together okay if you say looking looking is like with your eyes looking for is to search for something okay looking he was always looking for her all right so all right so the the adverb of frequency always was misplaced okay he was always looking for her all right uh the farmer got fired now i i don't i'm not sure if you wanted to say the farmer got fired despidieron al, al, al farmer I think yeah, you wanted to say the farm got fired, got got fired, oh, you know. Um, farm. Um, uh, so like, you mean, you yes. mean this, the, the farm? Farm, farm. Got fired? Yes. Okay, very good. His wife died, okay, very good. So we'll pass, you used to walk every night around looking for, guys, looking for his wife. When the girl finished the story, very good. The park ranger appeared and he scared them. Okay, that that should be one sentence. The park ranger, his name is Ted. Okay, the park ranger's name is Ted. Okay, so you need, you don't need this. He gives to she. Right now, what's wrong here, guys? How can we correct this? Remember that this happened in the past, right? He he gave he gave her, he gave her the flowers, right? So what you need here, guys, is an, uh, an object pronoun, okay? Very good. So very good, guys. So see, we're talking about, uh, we just saw, guys, how we are using simple past and past progressive in real life, all right? Pretty good. So uh, introduction, guys, real quick. We use the simple past and past progressive for th this past progressive and past continuous, guys, is that's that's the same thing, okay? So we use it for what, guys? To what? To express actions in the past. Very good, okay. As? As what? As a narrative from of the past to express complaint. Very good, okay. As a narrative form of the past to express completed and sequ uh, uh, sequential actions, okay? Now, we use past progressive for what? When the past, pro when to say what was happening at a particular moment in the past. Very good. Okay, to say what would happen, what was happening at a particular moment in the past. Okay, very good. So let's see what we're talking about here. Okay, so there are you know, there are a couple of differences, guys, okay? There is a reason why, you know, we not only use simple past, but we need to use the other tense as well, okay? So first of all, guys, okay, write this down in your notebook, okay? Past continues, okay? An action in progress in the past, okay? What do we use it for, guys? For an action in? Progress, progress in, the, in past. the past. All right, very good. Okay. All right, now, simple past. Actions that? describe situation finished finished in, the past, in the past okay very good now past continues we use it for this one is super important guys two or more 
two or more actions at the same time, guys, okay? Write it down, guys, because that's that's going to become very important when, when, when we do the exercises, right? Very good. And then, you know, we use simple class, uh, simple class four. To describe past habits. Past habits and? To describe one complete, one complete past action past after action. another. Very good. And this one, guys, uh, uh, what about past continuous here, guys? An action that was in progress and was interrupted. All right. An action that was interrupted, that was interrupted, an action in progress. Actually, this, this should say, guys, to describe an action that was interrupted by an action in progress. Okay. So let's change this. All right. But right, here's the thing, guys. Okay. We can combine both of them. All right. And we'll see how. Okay. So this is a structure, guys, for both of them. All right, write it down in your number, guys, okay? So in simple past, guys, we have two types of verbs, right? We have, we have what? Irregular verbs. We have regular verbs and we, all, we also have? Regular verbs. We also have regular verbs, right? Okay, so what's the difference between the two guys? You already know what the difference is, right? One of them follows, you know, a, a, a set of rules, the other one doesn't. Okay, so the structure is simple. With simple, with regular verbs, guys, you're only going to use the the, ba the the base form of the verb, and you're going to add ed at the end. For example, is this a simple past? I worked. I worked, right? Now, the difference between a regular and irregular verb you can be seen here, which is, you know, I spoke, right, is not following the rule, right? You don't say, what what is the base form of I spoke, guys? Speak. Speak. Right. Speak, right? So we don't say speak, right? We say spoke. So the word completely, you know, it changes completely. So therefore, you know, that's an irregular verb. Now, simple pro past progressive, guys, is real simple because you have to use the past form of B. Okay, the past form of the verb B. And what is what are the two past forms, guys, of the verb B? And was and where was very good and where okay was and where all right and you have to use guys the ing form of a verb okay so that is the that is this rule so i was speaking you were speaking all right what other examples can you give me guys uh jenny give me one example in third person hey. She was, uh, she was a regular verb. Remember that in past progressive, guys, do we care about regular or irregular verbs? No, they follow, Only they always regular follow. regular verb because ing plus ing is regular. Yeah, well, yeah all, all, all verbs have an ing form, okay? Mm -hmm. So... They, they follow the ing form it doesn't matter if it's a regular or irregular verb okay the regular okay. and irregular verb guys only applies in the in simple past okay other than that you know they're pretty much the same all right so uh go ahead she, okay she was listening music she was listening to yesterday. music listening to music yesterday okay listening to music right Listening to very good, very good. Okay, that's a good example. She was listening to music yesterday. Good job, Maylin. Give me another example. She was swimming in the pool. Okay, so we have you know, she was swimming in the pool. Very good. Uh, Francisco, give me another example. With actually, give me an example with the pronoun they. They were. Heating up each other. They were what? Like hit, uh, uh, like when the phrase about hit you up, like sending a message. They were, they were, you know, hitting each other up. Okay. All right. Very good. Uh, good job. Okay. They were hitting each other up. All right. Very good. So that's, that's pretty much, you know, past progressive, right? Real simple. Anyways, do you do we have any questions up to this point, guys? Now we're gonna get to the interesting part, okay? 
all right? Exceptions in past progressive, guys. All right, and these guys pay attention too because not all verbs can be used with past progressive, okay? I would recommend you guys to take a screenshot or try to save this some, somehow, okay? Because this part right here is super, super important, all right? So these verbs, guys, the following verbs here cannot be used in progressive form most of the times. Now, they do, all right? Most of them have a, a progressive form, but they might be used as gerunds, not progressive forms, okay? For example, guys, we have something called stative verbs, okay? They demonstrate state. So, uh, for example, the verb be, guys, does not have an ing form. Have you ever seen, guys? And, and I mean, it doesn't have, um, how can I say? It does have an, an ing form, guys, but you shouldn't use it as a verb that shows something was progressive, okay? Um, for example, uh, you can't say, like, you cannot say like this, you know? We were being on holiday. You can't say that, for example, right? Why not? Estamos estando en, en holiday, all right? So here, guys, you need to erase the verb be, okay? Um, oh, how about these guys? How much, okay, how much did your shoes cost? Uh, David, how much did your shoes, uh, how much did your shoes cost? Uh, $50. $50, okay. Now, can I say, guys, they were costing fifty dollars. No, it's worth it's worth fifty dollars only now. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Why can I not say this? Try to analyze that situation. Then you're gonna understand why we cannot use this verb. Because it's an action in the past, only in the past. Okay, okay, an action that already finished in the past, guys. The thing is that this is a stative verb, okay? Un verbo de estado, all right? So how can you, how can it be costing guys $50? Like, like is it, it cannot be guys a continuous action. That's the point. El verbo cost guys no puede ser una acción continua, ni siquiera en español. Mm -hmm. Fíjate que me, me estuvieron costando. Well, me estuvieron costando, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we do say that, but that's very formal, right? But uh, but you can't say that, guys, because it's something that can only happen at a certain point in time, okay? Um, what about, um, what did you mean, okay? What did you mean? Okay, can I say, guys, Hilda, all right? Can I say, I was meaning, I, I, um, I saw you. Can I say this? I was meaning I saw you. No, teacher. No. no. All right. You need to say I meant I saw you. Okay. I meant I saw you. Why, guys? Because meaning is also another state. Okay. In Spanish, guys, we, we don't have a translation for that, guys, okay? But basically that means, you know, lo que quería decir es, okay? We don't, we don't say, you know, lo que yo quería estar diciendo, right? Whatever, right? So they demonstrate state, guys, okay? Another example, guys, and think about it. It just makes sense, guys. You don't need to even, uh, you know, even without knowing the rules, guys. What about the verb belong? Think about it. Can I say, guys, the car was belonging to me? Can I say this? No, right? Why not? Because belong, guys, is another state, right? It can only happen at one point in the past. It doesn't reflect the continuous action, okay? So same thing like these guys, okay? I know when, you know, I know McDonald's says I'm loving it, right? But are you, uh, can you tell, can you tell your, your, your boyfriend or 
or husband, Ingrid, can you take can you tell your boyfriend or husband, I am loving you? Can you say this? No. Or I was loving you? No, right? Why not? Because it's not something that can be represented continuously. Okay. Got it, guys? All right. Now, informally speaking, guys, you might say them, okay, but it is it is not correct, okay? Questions with this, guys, with uh, past progressive exceptions? We're good? All right. Now, this is the very interesting part, guys. While and when, okay? Now, I will show you guys the difference between them two. And this is pretty much, you know, the main point of this class today. All right, while and when. So guys, let's talk about when. First of all, guys, let me ask you something. Do we all know, guys, okay, how to make sentences in past, uh, uh, simple past and past progressive, or do you have a question? Does anybody here does not know, guys, how to make sentences in simple past or past progressive? Are we all good? Yes. All right. I'll take that as a yes. All right, so we have guys, you can use when, all right, and you can also use while, okay? All right, and this has a lot to do with simple past, guys, okay? So, for example, guys, you can say, You can say it like this. You can say, when I saw you, right? When I saw you, but when I saw you what, guys? You were singing, okay? All right. Hey, how many clauses do we have here, by the way? Two. We have two, right? Now remember, guys, clauses can be separated, right? Can I say you were singing when I saw you? Can I say this? Yes. All right, very good. Okay. Now check this out. What about this? While I was singing. Okay. Well, you can say it like this, okay? I was, I was cooking. No, I was singing. Well, I was cooking. All right, and I can also say, you know, while I was cooking, I was singing. All right, so now, what difference do you notice between them two guys? ¿Cuál es la diferencia que notan entre esos dos? The order. Well, the order, what else? The action is not realized for the only one person. In, in why you have only one person. Uh, but in when you have two persons realizing the, the action. You're going to have two people, okay? Two people, not two yeah, persons. People, people, okay. sorry. Okay, you were seeing when I saw you. Actually, let's uh, let's change saw for something else because it will make more sense. It, it, I mean, the, the sentence is perfectly fine, okay? But for you to make sense, uh, when I uh, came in to your house, okay? Now, this makes more, this, this will be, this will make a better example, okay? So guys, notice, okay, that when we use when, guys, all right, we use when with, what is this, guys? What tense is that? Past. Past. Okay. okay, very good, okay, all right? So let's use this example here, okay? When I came into your house, okay? So this is, all right, we know that that is simple, past right so we're using simple 
past here. With when, okay? Very good. What about these guys? What are we using with while? Past progressive. Okay. So we're using, you know, past progressive with while. Okay. Now, what do they represent? What is it that they represent, guys? All right. We we can use them, guys. I mean, we can combine them, but usually, guys, okay? Take a look at this. You were singing when I came into your house, okay? So if we combine them like that, guys, all right? Past progressive and simple past, because remember, this is past progressive right here. You were singing when I came into your house. Basically, you were singing when I interrupted, okay? Guys, if I'm singing, you know, if I'm like, la, 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 and you knock on my door, and I have to open the door so you can get into my house, do you interrupt my action? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, right? So, guys, that's it. You got the answer yourselves, okay? So, we use this, guys, for interrupted actions, okay? All right, what do we use it for, guys? For interrupted actions. Interrupted actions, okay? Very good. All right. So, we use these guys for interrupted actions. Okay, let me just put it right here. Interrupted actions. Very good. Uh, what about past progressive? Okay. In these examples, guys, listen, I was cooking, but I was singing. Okay. So I was doing what, guys? Two action at the same time. Very good. Okay. Two actions at the same time, guys. Okay. And that is the main difference. All right. Clear, guys, right now? Yes. Is that clear? Very good. Okay. Very good, guys. So, with interrupter actions, guys, okay, I can say, you know, um, let's give me a sentence, right? Let's see, guys, uh, who hasn't participated? Ingrid, could you be so kind to give me a sentence and tell me something that you were doing yesterday? What? I know. Uh, I I went to the beach. Okay, with that. Okay, something that you were doing yesterday that you were constantly doing yesterday. I was uh, swimming in the pool. Okay, very good. Okay, so see, I was. So we can say Ingrid. All right. So we can say Ingrid was swimming in the pool now do you want do you want guys to interrupt the action or do you want another action continuously well uh, another you know action being done continuously <laughs> let's have simultaneous actions okay simultaneous actions all right so see ingrid was swimming in the pool what do we use for? I'm sorry, guys. Let's let's have an interrupter action. What do we use for interrupter actions? When. When, right? So okay. So when. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, when it's raining. When I when what? <laughs> raining. When it's raining, like this. When it's raining. Ah. Uh -uh. Guys, when we use when, we need to use simple past. Write it down in your notebooks, guys. You need to use simple past, okay? If you're going to use interrupter actions, guys, you need to use simple past, okay? So, uh, Patty, what do you think, Patty? What is it? When I call me in the cell phone. When, okay, very good. When, when my sister called me in the cell phone. Okay, when my toxico called me. Very good, okay. Very good, okay. Ingrid was swimming in the pool, and then, you know, you, maybe she had to leave the pool, right, because her toxico called him, okay. Very good, okay. So, see, guys, interrupted action, okay. Let's have another, uh, let's have one example of uh, two actions at the same time. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ilda, give me 
an example of two actions that you, well, two things that you were doing at the same time yesterday? Mm, uh, I was, I, I went running. I was running. I was, not I were. I, I was, was running. I was running. Running, not running. 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 Uh, while I listened to music. While I was. While I listened. While I music. was listening. I was listening music. To, to, to music. music, guys. To, to music. music. Okay. Okay, I was running while I was listening to music. Okay. Very good. All right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Pretty good, guys. Pretty good. Questions so far, guys? No. All right. Very good. All right. So do you want me to give you more examples? Or do you want to jump um, to jump into the exercises or um, now? For me, uh, one example more. One more example of what? Uh, interrupted actions or do you want two actions at the same time? Um, the boat. All right, very good. So you give me the examples. Give me, give me an example using when. Actually, guys, do me a favor while Maylin is thinking about the example. Everybody send me one example of each, okay? One with when and one with while, okay? And the chat. So let's go. Um, so, so meanwhile, all right, actually, let me have somebody else here. Uh, Oscar, Oscar, could you please give me an example using when? I was watching TV. Watching, not watching. Watching es que lo estabas lavando. Estaba lavando la tele o estaba viendo? Watching. That's, watching. that's lavar. Watching. Okay, I was watching TV. Watching. When I eating eating popcorn. When remember, guys, when we use when, do we use simple past or do we use past progressive? Simple past. Simple past. Okay, so Oscar, you say when I eating. That hmm. is not simple past. I was okay. watching TV when I ate. When I when I ate what? Popcorn. Popcorn. Okay. Very good. Good job. Uh, good job, Oscar. Jose Chicas, give me an example with while. I... Remember, two actions at the same time. Everybody send me your examples, guys, in the chat, please. All right. Did you leave? I think you left. Uh, let's see. Jose, I, we can't hear you, sir. Ricardo, okay, give, give an example, Ricardo. Why you were cleaning your house? Mm -hmm. um, coma or not coma here, guys? Coma. Coma, right? Very good. If you start with the while, uh, Zero. with the while, well, while close, guys, you, you need to add a coma, right? Yes, Ricardo, continue. Your mother can here. Your mother came here. Yeah. Now, now you can say this, okay? This would be an interrupted action, okay? Okay, uh, but I need two actions at the same time, okay? So the example is okay, but this is an example for an interrupted action, okay? So I need you to give me, remember, for interrupted actions, guys, I mean, for, for, for two actions at the same time, you need two two clauses in past progressive, okay? They both need to be in past progressive. Oh, sorry. So for use why you need to to use the only one person or the people, the same people, 
in the two actions. No, you can because say while you were you cleaning don't the house. To... No, you can say while you were cleaning your house, I was calling my wife. Or while you were cleaning your house, uh, you were listening to music. That doesn't uh, matter, man. Uh, uh, and you repeat the, the past progressive? The past continuous, sorry. Yeah, you repeat it, yes. For two actions at the same time. If it is two actions at the same time, guys, you, they, the both clauses need to be in past progressive. Si, la, si vas a hablar de dos cosas simultáneas, guys, tenés que usar while y tenés que decir ambas cláusulas en past progressive. Got it? Got it. All right. So, I mean, take a look at the examples, right? Just, just follow the examples. Okay, so give me another example, Ricardo. Um, why he was working. Huh? Um, comma, she was painting. Very good, okay. All right, house. she was painting. Painting the house. Good job. Okay, so see? Good job, guys. Good job. Okay. Pretty good. All right. Let's see. Um, I'm going to check your examples, guys. Okay. Uh, and you guys work on the exercises. But before we do the exercise, guys, okay, you can you can take it home. First of all, all right. Did, uh, did you take a screenshot, guys? Did you take a screenshot of the whiteboard with examples and everything? If somebody did, please send it to the to the to the group, guys. Okay, all right. Now um, you'll have some exercises, guys. But before we do that, okay, I think we're gonna do the exercises tomorrow. Um, I need to. We need to go over the platform, okay? Because I know some of you had some questions today, guys. So let's go over the platform, guys. And if we have time, we'll do the exercises today. Otherwise, we're gonna do them tomorrow. So, uh, guys, section one, two, three, and the midterm. I, uh, Maria, I think you had questions for me. And also, Jenny, I think you had questions for me. Uh, tell me, which ones do you have issues with? I have a question with um, about, about the section three. Mm -hmm. What, midterm or mm -hmm. section three? Section three. Okay. Which, which section from section three? Yes. 3.4. 3.4. Okay, very good. This one right here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So it says, uh, do not write the whole request, only the completion of it, okay? Did you follow these instructions? Did you write down only the completion? Yes, I only so completion. Says, you want to use your roommate's computer. It is, is it okay? So what would be the answer here, guys? If I use your, your computer. If I use your computer? Question mark, right? Let's see. All right, very good. Did you get that answer, uh, Jenny? No, <laughs> it's different. Thank why, you. Why is it different? Because, no, I, I, let's see. <laughs> you, you wrote down the whole answer? Don't worry, okay, just check it. All right, uh, do you need the other ones? What, what's the answer for the second one, guys? Would you mind? Giving me a right to work. Giving me a right to work, okay? All right, uh, what about number three? You want a friend to help you move on Saturdays. Could you help me? Let me move on Saturday. Help me move on Saturday. Very good. You would like your aunt to give you a second piece of pie. I was wondering if you don't, if you'd mind giving me giving me a second piece of pie, right? Don't forget, guys, to add to add the question mark, right? 
All right, very good. So all of them are correct, okay? Very good. Uh, do you need help with another one, guys? Yes, I, I have a question. Sure. The 3.12, the exercise two. Exercise two, okay. Could you ask Sophia what, guys? So what was your answer, Oscar? <laughs> I can't, I can't. I can't? Is this the answer, I can't? No, no, no. All right. I can it's answer. In direct requests, right? So could you ask Sophia, what is the answer here, guys? If she is going to the... To the party with Jeff, okay? Could you ask Sophia if she's going to the party with Jeff? Very good, all right? Pretty good, pretty good. All right, if you don't have the other ones, guys, okay, here they are, all right? So you just follow the same technique, okay? All right, um, is that it, Oscar? Yes. All right, very good. Um, anybody else, guys? Are we good? Did we, did we finish the midterm? Not yet. The I have a question. Yes, Melin, go ahead. Sorry, because my dog is no. That's okay. I have a question because I can finish uh, the exercise. Which one? The read the newspaper article and which the, which is which section is it? Three point seven, three point eight, three point. No, is the meeting uh, the, the what, course the stress it. Um, you mean the midterm? No, uh, no, I don't know. I, it's the last exercise, the course, the section three is uh, reading, reading the newspaper article. I don't have a number for the exercise. The last, okay. The last. I mean, this is the last one. Do you, you talk about mailing the, the one with the, the pilot? No. The last the, one is the in the midterm. No, you mean the midterm then? Not the number three, the midterm. Uh, sorry. You mean this reading? Yes. So uh, up and down. These are the answers. One, four, and six. And you click on submit and there you go. All right, very good. Any other one, guys? I just yes, couldn't can. rearrange one. Sorry. Which one? Uh, the meter, the last one, number three. This is the last one, man. No, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, uh, this one? Number three, yes. Three, uh, this one. Friends, me happy out when it launched, man. It makes me happy when. Hold on. It makes me happy when a friend takes me out to lunch. Period. Uh, or it makes period. me happy when a friend takes me. Guys, if you don't use a period, okay, they might be wrong. Okay. So you got it, Francisco? All right, very good, man. Very good. Okay. Any other one, guys? Yes, teacher. Tell me. And then in the middle term and the Oh, it's the same. They see, they put the chest in the little third seat. Mm -hmm. So what? It's the same. The problem. Okay. Thank you. All right. Very good. Any other one, guys? Are we good now? All right. So tomorrow, guys, I need you to come early because. We, I have a very, very, very nice activity, guys. And I'm saying like really, really, really nice activity, okay? So we're gonna, we still have to go over uh, this, guys, but the practice is very good because we learn, guys, how to build stories, okay? In the past. So this is what we're gonna be uh, doing tomorrow, guys. Got it? All right. So, um, so come early, guys, and um, you know, that's it. Um, 
Any questions, guys? Any requests? Any, I don't know, any scolding, guys? <laughs> How do you feel, guys? How do you feel on your one Monday? I feel Good? tired. I feel yeah. sleeping. Yeah, dude. I still, I still need to work a lot. Uh, but yeah, man, that that's good. I recently started making um, uh, smoothies, but but check this out. They are like, it, it's it's a um, it's a banana, avocado, um, spinach, lemon, and and honey smoothie. <laughs> So that's what I got for my booty, but it, it tastes good, you know. I didn't, I didn't know that it was gonna taste good, but it I does. don't think so. It does, <laughs> it does, it does, you know. Anyways, guys, I'll let you go now. Okay, thank you very much, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good, good night. Good name, everybody. Good night. <laughs>